Hey, what's up guys? I got some more Battlefield 4 news for you guys today, and I apologize for not uploading a video in the last, like, four days. Uh, I've been quite busy lately, so I uh, wasn't able to get a video out. However, uh, a Battlefield 4 release date uh, was released a few days ago and then unreleased by EA themselves. And this is the only reason why I'm reporting on it, is because EA themselves released and unreleased it. Um, a lot of the times I get messages uh, for various games like GTA 5, uh, Battlefield 4, when Battlefield 3 was coming out. Uh, people would, would link me to these retail sites like GameStop, uh, sites like that, and they'll say, oh, look, they put the release date up. You know, they leaked the release date. And um, I've learned to not trust those release dates that they put up. The main reason why retail sites put up those release dates is to just have a release date to have on their website, you know, to, just to have a date uh, to have. So whenever you see retail sites putting up dates, you know, don't pay attention to them, especially if the date is like December 31st and stuff like that because uh, that no game ever releases on December 31st what game has ever released on December 31st you know New Year's Eve and all that uh, nobody would go out and buy the game because a lot of people are partying and and getting ready to party and getting ready and out of town and all that stuff so uh, the probable date that EA has gave us and then took it off their website uh, is October 29th 2013 which is probable because it is on a Tuesday, um, it is before the Call of Duty release, because that's what EA likes to do. EA has been known to release their games before the Call of Duty release, and uh, with their marketing and everything like that, they're hoping to grab some of those potential Call of Duty players and bring them over to Battlefield. Uh, remember, Battlefield 3 came out October 25th, 2011, uh, before uh, Modern Warfare 3 came out. Uh, so it is a probable date. Um, another probable date would be the 22nd, which is a week before. Uh, and some people are thinking that maybe they're going to push it out even further a little bit, November. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I really do feel like they're going to be doing the October thing again. And we're going to be getting the beta um, late September, early October. Uh, so that is a probable date. Another topic that I want to touch upon is dynamic weather. Uh, we've seen dynamic weather in Battlefield before. Battlefield 3, Grand Bazaar has rain now it's not like you know insanely downpouring rain and stuff like that but it is rain and you do see it on your screen when you look up and you run around you see little raindrops on your screen but can battlefield 4 go more in depth absolutely um i think battlefield 4 could go more in depth so just just imagine a a a map like uh caspian border during a snowstorm uh, that would be insane. Now, of course, during a snowstorm, there's a possibility that you're not going to be able to see anybody that's further than 30 feet from you. Uh, but it would be it would be a good option, you know, have the map with with a snowstorm and without a snowstorm. Um, and of course, a map like Caspian Border has jets, and during a snowstorm, having uh, closed air support on standby is going to be ridiculously hard, um, unless you just spot out the targets for them, and they're just going to have to shoot at the orange uh, spots. But uh, there are some hints of dynamic weather being in Battlefield 4. Uh, we see a lot of things like rain in the trailers. In the teaser trailers, you saw uh, like rain and, and water. And in the water, you saw particles flying around and stuff like that. And there, that's probably giving us a hint that there might be a little bit more than just, you know, little raindrops like we saw on Battlefield 3 and Grand Bazaar. And my question to you guys is, would you like to see dynamic weather in Battlefield 4? Me personally, I would love to see dynamic weather in Battlefield 4. Uh, the snow maps actually having snow fall down on them and maybe even like the, the game starts out with no snow on the ground It starts snowing and by the end of the game, you know You have a lot of snow on the ground or you know uh, rain causing puddles and stuff like that And I know that's gonna take more computing power uh, But we're looking at battlefield 4 being released also for the next generation of consoles Which can probably handle a lot more than the current generation of candle uh, of consoles uh, without a doubt They can handle a lot more and I'm, without a doubt, you, you PC guys out there, um, we, we can handle it as well. Uh, so, that is if you upgrade your PC. And uh, they haven't really released the minimum specs for PC, by the way. And I will let you guys know when they release the minimum requirements for PC. Uh, for you guys out who are going to be getting Battlefield 4 for the PC. So, you guys can answer that question in the comment section below. Would you like to see dynamic weather in Battlefield 4? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative and enjoyable. And if you did... Don't forget to click that like button, favorite this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new here uh, because I will be covering the Battlefield 4 news when it drops right here on this channel, showing you guys the content when it drops and everything like that. 
And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace.